Welcome to another episode of Alien Conspiracy Series. Today we are going to highlight the first video recorded UFO case, the Mariana Incident. In the summer of 1950, amidst the tranquil expanse of Great Falls, Montana, an event unfolded that would etch its mark in the annals of UFO lore. August 15th, to be exact, a day like any other until it wasn't. Nick Mariana, a man not usually given to flights of fancy, found himself in a curious position. As the general manager of the Great Falls Electric's minor league baseball team, his day-to-day -day concerns typically revolved around the ebb and flow of baseball seasons. But fate had a different plan that day. Accompanied by his secretary, Virginia Rornig, Mariana ventured out to inspect the empty Legion Stadium baseball field before a game. What ensued would defy conventional explanation. A sudden flash pierced the sky, drawing Mariana's gaze upward. What he beheld defied explanation, two gleaming, silvery objects, rotating gracefully as they traversed the heavens above Great Falls. In a flurry of urgency, Mariana dashed to his car, retrieving his 16mm movie camera, in a race against time. For 16 seconds, the camera whirred to life, capturing the enigmatic dance of the unidentified aerial phenomena. Witnesses to this celestial spectacle, Mariana and Rornig bore witness to a moment that would soon capture the world's imagination. The Great Falls Tribune, the city's herald of daily events, wasted no time in spreading the news of Mariana's sighting. Soon, the tale of the UFOs over Great Falls rippled through media outlets across the nation, a testament to the enduring fascination with the unknown. But curiosity beckoned official scrutiny. The US Air Force, custodians of the nation's skies, turned their gaze towards Mariana's footage. Initial conclusions pointed towards a mundane explanation, reflections from passing F-94 jet fighters. Yet, this explanation soon crumbled under closer inspection. Controversy, like an ominous cloud on the horizon, gathered around the incident. Mariana's claim of missing frames from his film sparked intrigue, casting doubt on the Air Force's swift dismissal. Was there more to this sighting than met the eye? Enter the courtroom drama. Bob Considine, armed with skepticism and a pen, penned an article for Cosmopolitan magazine, deriding the UFO sightings as a disgraceful flying saucer hoax. Mariana, stung by the implications, struck back with a lawsuit for slander, igniting a legal battle that would drag on for years. But the tale did not end there. In the corridors of academia and government, scholars and scientists delved into the mystery of Mariana's UFOs. Committees convened, studies conducted, and conclusions drawn, yet the enigma persisted. In the ensuing decades, the UFO phenomenon continued to captivate the public imagination. Mariana's film, a grainy testament to an otherworldly encounter, found its way into the hallowed halls of the U.S. National Archives. Its legacy endured, a touchstone for generations of UFO enthusiasts and skeptics alike. And so, the Mariana UFO incident remains a beacon in the night sky of ufology, a tantalizing glimpse into the unknown. As Great Falls, Montana, basks in the glow of its celestial notoriety, the mystery lingers, waiting to be unraveled by the intrepid souls who dare to seek the truth.